Hi, if you follow my channel, then you probably know that I've recently purchased an ASUS RTAX 86U. Basically, I replaced my old RTAC 68U with that one. And I made a whole video series as I was shopping for the new wireless router. And it took me three episodes to realize uh, that was my best option. But the thing is, all the research that I did to come up with that answer was actually on paper and I never had the chance to test the device before I bought it. So now that I've been using it for a couple of weeks, the question is, is it really as good as I thought it would be? Before I answer that question though, just wanted to quickly point out that this video is sort of like my first impression of that wireless router and more in-depth testings and reviews and tutorials will be coming soon. Hopefully. Now back to the question. Well, based on what I have seen and tested so far, my short answer is yes, and here is why. So when I was working on that video series, I used eight different categories to compare the wireless routers to see which one is better. But one category that I decided not to use was the design of the router, because I figured that wasn't that much of priority for me. But had I had that category, I think I would have given nine or 10 to this router because its design is simple and neat. It pretty much looks good from almost every angle and it doesn't have a loud design that wants to shout that I'm a fast wireless router, I have Wi-Fi 6, I have nah, nah, nah. but it's rather quietly and humbly stylish. You know, it might actually sound weird, but I just keep thinking um, if this was a car, then it would be a Golf GTI. Don't ask me why though. The bottom line is I really like the design. I've always thought of the AC68U as a wireless router with good and acceptable range because in the last few years I've had the chance to compare its range with some other wireless routers as well as with a couple of access points and in most cases that actually did better. But I can't deny the fact that it is old and at least on paper the AX86U is better. Is it though? To answer that question, I checked the RSSI of the 5 GHz band in three different places of my house, once for the AC68U and once for the AX86U, and obviously in both cases they were installed in the exact same location and they used the exact same wireless channel. And boy was I up for a surprise, as you can see the AX86U crushed the AC68U in every place. The signal strength was not just a little bit better, it was actually significantly better everywhere. So just to give you an idea how good the Wi-Fi range of this router is, I'm gonna tell you that my current wireless network, which consists of one AI mesh router and two AI mesh nodes, can now do absolutely fine without any of those nodes and only the AX86U as the wireless router. I mean, I might still use one of the nodes as a media bridge because I'm using its LAN ports to connect a couple of wired devices to the network in this room. But as far as the wireless range goes, it looks like I no longer need the help of those two AI mesh nodes. Wi-Fi speed, a very important subject and because of that it will be covered more comprehensively in another video. But for now I've done a simple iPerf speed test to see if that guy's Wi-Fi is really faster than this guy's Wi-Fi. If you're not familiar with iPerf speed test, then feel free to check out that video where I explain it. So in my speed test, the iPerf server was this computer which was directly connected to one of the LAN ports of the router. The maximum speed of this section of the network would be 1 gigabits per second. The iPerf client though was a Wi-Fi 6 capable laptop which was connected to the 5 GHz Wi-Fi of the router. Obviously this was a Wi-Fi 5 router and so was this connection. In this test, the maximum speed I got was 414 megabits per second. So basically the Wi-Fi was the bottleneck here. Now, when I replaced the AC68U with my AX86U, the wired connection was the same as before, but the wireless connection to this computer was now Wi-Fi 6. In this situation and in almost every test, I got something around 940 megabits per second. This actually tells me that in this test it looks like the wired connection could be the bottleneck and the Wi-Fi connection is capable of reaching not only 1 gigabits per second but maybe even faster.
We already talked about the Wi-Fi speed, but I should also mention that one advantage of having a super fast processor, apart from being able to do a lot of tasks simultaneously and without getting overloaded, which is very good, is the fact that the router can also boot up much faster. To better understand that, I again compared it with the AC68U in another test. In this test, a computer was directly connected to one of the LAN ports of each router and was continuously pinging the router. I wanted to see from the moment that I power on the wireless routers, how long would it take for them to be able to respond to those pings. And that number for the AC68U was around 2 minutes and 36 seconds. That might not sound like a long time, and even if it might, it doesn't matter to many people. Because how many times a day somebody wants to reboot the router? And people can go even months without doing that. But my case is a little bit different because I tend to install different versions of firmware quite often, especially when I'm working on a project and a video. For example, in the last KB video where I showed how we can install and upgrade an AI Mesh Nodes firmware, I had to go back and forth between the latest and an older version firmware for three routers a few times so I could actually finally film it and make a video about it. And in those situations, unfortunately, that 2 minutes 36 seconds feels like forever. Now, that being said, that number for the AX86U was only 41 seconds, almost 2 minutes less than the AC68U, which is very good. So I think I actually learned something today, which is if I do a proper research before buying, I guess, anything, and I did in the case of that wireless router, then there is a very good chance that I'm going to enjoy what I bought. And honestly, I've been really happy with my purchase so far. But like I said, I'll do some more in-depth tests and I'll keep you posted. Hello again. Before I end the video, I need to talk about a couple of points. Number one, this video was actually recorded a long time ago, a couple of weeks after I purchased that wireless router. Now, the editing part of my videos is usually the most time-consuming part, and unfortunately, I never had a chance to properly edit this video until now, because of a renovation that was going on in my house. Is going on. Uh, that's actually the wall that you usually see behind me in my videos. I guess now it's a little bit different. Number two, I had the chance to take a look at the first tri-band Wi-Fi 6 e-wireless router and test it and make a video about it. Now, as a thank you to my supporters on Patreon, which I really appreciate what they do, that video is now available for them on Patreon and later on YouTube too. So if you want to watch the video right now, the link is there. Thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it if you think others might like it too. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you again and I will see you soon.